Hey there YouTubers, my name is Daniel, aka Tweaker Dan, and I'm just posting videos on here to help everybody out. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am working on a 1996 Buick Riviera. Um, I am in the process of pulling out the stereo, and decided um, after I started to make a little video of how to do such a thing. Um, first thing you want to do is have things just sort of sitting here to help show you. Um, but the first thing you want to do is you want to take these uh, two side pillars down. There are two clips in there. There's one up here and then one down there. I have the tool to remove these uh, from from this panel but it's it's pretty hard to fit in there so you just have to pull down and out and you will be able to remove them and then you slide it you will want to take both these panels off each side here i already removed them um and uh, just keep them in a safe spot because if you accidentally step on them just placing them on the floorboard they probably will break and then there's on each side there is a seven millimeter or you could probably use a Phillips uh, screwdriver to, to remove the bolts that hold this piece in here. And then on the passenger side, there's a seven millimeter down here on the bottom. So this side only has the one uh, that you need to remove, but if you try to just pull this panel off on the other side without removing the lower bolt, then you will break the panel. Here's the passenger side panel. I just removed it. Um, the screw I was talking about is located right here. Um, you'll want to take that out, it's 7mm. And then you'll also want to remove this uh, screw here. It's either going to be a 7mm or a Phillips. Next, you'll want to... I'll show you one of these. So these clips here um, go in the, this top panel. There's six of them across the bottom of the dash. Next, you will want to, you could use a screwdriver, or, um, but you may scratch it, or you could use one of these tools. It's a little fastener removing tool. It's pretty handy. Slides right up in there and pops them out. Um, but remove all six of those, and then to remove this panel, all you, and you don't pull down on it, you, pu you pull out, and the whole thing will just sort of slide out uh, you may have to wiggle it a little bit or something. But next step is there's these long screws. There are, I'm counting, there's five of them. And they take a, sorry for the, and they take a T15 Torx bit. So um, you can remove them with that or I believe you could use a seven millimeter on them as well. So you'll want to remove all five of those across the dash. Now after having all the previous panels in the video removed and after you have removed these five long screws here, um, you'll want to lift up on the dash slightly, uh, pull out and lift up just a little bit and it'll create enough space for you to unplug this one wiring harness here. This goes to the bezel and some of the dash lights and possibly a car alarm if you have one. But you'll just wanna pull out on the tab just a little bit and separate the two. Uh, be careful not to break it. And then you'll be good to pull it out. Um, you'll want to pull it out and then you'll probably have to wiggle each side just a little bit to work its way out. It's one solid piece. Um, I was lifting up as I was pulling out and it seemed to come out very freely. After removing the top dash panel, you'll want to pull out on this plastic front cover here and just work your way all the way down. It comes out pretty easy, unsnapping everything. And then there are two electrical connections that'll need to be re removed. I'm gonna lift this out of here. Set it off to the side. All right, so the first one is the light switch. Um, to remove this, if you put a finger in here and just barely pull up on this plastic piece, you can just pull it out. Um, or you could 
hole on the, the wire slightly because it takes almost no pressure to remove it. Next, you'll come over here. This plugs into the traction control or the um, trip reset button. Um, and all you'll need to do is take some sort of tool, a flathead screwdriver possibly, push in on that and pull the, pull the wire out like that uh, toward the front of the vehicle. Now after removing this front panel, next you'll want to remove these three seven millimeter bolts and they hold the climate control in. Next, you will want to remove these three seven millimeter bolts that hold the stereo plate in. Um, if you want more room, you could also remove the three climate control bolts there. Um, all of them are seven millimeter. Once you have those three seven millimeter screws removed, you can pull the stereo straight out. Uh, there should be nothing holding it in and then you can disconnect your stereo. Um, in my situation, I'm actually installing a subwoofer and amplifier, so I do not need to pull it out all the way. I just wanted to plug some stuff into the back of it and uh, get some better quality sound. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, sorry that the video quality isn't that great. Um, this is the circumstance of working alone. So. I don't have anyone to hold this camera for me, but I hope this has helped and putting it back together, go in the reverse order of pulling things out and I just recommend being really careful so you don't break anything. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see future videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.